In late August 1944, on the heels of the Normandy invasion and the continuing fighting, the 1st Canadian Army was tasked with liberating the Netherlands. The country had been occupied by Nazi Germany since 1940. Canadian forces fought to liberate the Netherlands from German control from September 1944 to April 1945. They opened the port of Antwerp and drove enemy forces back into Western Germany. On May 5, 1945, they surrendered to the Canadian army in the Netherlands. For the Dutch, life under Nazi occupation was brutal. Political repression, forced labor, food and gasoline shortages. About 100,000 Dutch Jews were murdered. The winter of 1944 into 45 was so harsh it would later be remembered as the Hunger Winter. A railroad strike in September of 44 disrupted crucial supply lines. The Germans retaliated by cutting food rations. Millions suffered from starvation. Approximately 20,000 died. By May 1945, more than 7,600 Canadian soldiers had died in the fight to liberate the Netherlands. But the war-weary survivors were greeted with wild celebrations by the grateful Dutch. The Dutch threw tulips at our troops. Johnny Canuck, the ordinary Canadian soldier, was treated like a hero or a film star. He was mobbed by an adoring public, hugged and kissed by pretty girls, and he even had to sign autographs. The Canadians liberated the Dutch and repaired transport routes. Canadians supplied 3,000 tons of food a day, ending the famine and saving many from starvation. After the fighting in Europe ended, Canadian units were scattered across the Netherlands to help rebuild. Triumphant soldiers celebrated all summer with singing, dancing, and romance. Nearly 2,000 Canadian servicemen married Dutch women. Many other Canadian soldiers left families behind, about 6,000 liberation children and their mothers were abandoned. Some Canadians were seen as brash and ill-mannered. Graffiti pleading, free us from our liberators, appeared in Amsterdam. Despite this, positive feelings remained in the Netherlands toward Canada. In 1945, the Dutch royal family sent Canada 100,000 tulip bulbs and the annual Canadian Tulip Festival was born. The Netherlands and Canada continue to celebrate a special relationship today. To better understand the past, historians rely on evidence from primary sources. Primary sources are pieces of evidence created at or near the time of an event by someone who directly experienced an event. They help historians construct an understanding of the past and of the multiple perspectives involved. Primary sources can offer a unique view into the complexities of history. In this edition of the Think Like a Historian series, we will use a war artist's artwork and a veteran's photograph to explore Canada's role in the liberation of the Netherlands.